and I'm Becky, and we're a couple of bees that read and review our books. And today is our weekly wine. So what's the wine this week, Becky? Well, since we're starting a new year, 2023, I thought we would break out the bubbly. Oh, nice. Yes. And this one is Galavant's Bubbly Rosé. And it is so pretty. And I'm using my new glasses that you gave me for Christmas along with a decanter because mm. I did not have one. So, but oh, isn't that pretty? It is beautiful. Mm, smells very fruity. Pretty tickly. Mm. Mm. That's good. really, really good. It's yeah. very crisp. It is. It is. It's a. It's fruity. It has uh, the taste of wild strawberries and mm -hmm. some cherry in there. Also has uh, a little um, mango okay. in it. So it's I, I was like. The, I thought there was some tropical in there. Yes, yes, So that yes. explains it. And orange. It has some orange zest in it, uh, mm. a little mango, the wild strawberry, and the little, the tart cherry, not a sweet cherry. Mm -hmm. So it's, because it's not, a, it's not very sweet, even though it's this pink rosé, it's not real sweet. And I just, I have to tell you, I love um, kind of the motto of this vineyard, uh, Gallivant. Um, I'll just have to read it to you. It says, because life is a path, you can either walk it aimlessly or you can gallivant joyfully through it. The choice is yours. And they made their choice. And it's <laughs> they said that, you know, life is just too short not to enjoy the best things in life. So I have to agree 100%. 100%. And I'm not a big champagne type person. I don't, I don't care for champagne that much, but I do like this because it it has a little uh, of that champagne um, feel with the bubbles and that kind of thing, but yet it's more fruity and it gives it uh, just to me more flavor or something. I just really like this a lot. So it is very good. So now, starting in 2023, our first review, um, it's the first uh, book that I, or the, I should say the last book I finished in 2022, bringing it into 2023. One of my favorite authors, again, is Susan M. Boyer. And if you're yes, curious, this a, is this a series, another yes. wonderful series. Um, I just love it when I find an author that has a series that um, I really enjoy the characters and it just gives me so much opportunity to go back. And unfortunately, it didn't take me long to read up all of her books. And this one, uh, The Low Country Getaway, just came out. And all of the novels are based in um, an island, Stella Morris, which is off the coast of Charlotte, uh, Charleston, North Carolina, South Carolina. And the thing is, Stella Morris is a fictional island, but it's all of the islands in the low country there. It's kind of a, a combination of all of mm -hmm. them together there. And Liz Talbot is the main character and she is um, uh, an investigator and she ends up, uh, she's married to her first husband's brother. Yes. Yes, it's a, that sounds a little strange, but uh, if you have to read the series in order to find out, um, you know, how does this, that sounds really weird, but. But he was her did, partner, right? Yes, he was yeah. her partner. I'm only two and, books in, yeah, so. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is her partner and it all boils down to the first husband, the older brother is just a real total jerk yeah. and you know he just Liz is such um, an awesome individual uh, she helps people you know she does this investigation and it just into you know things that people need and she doesn't always 
like charge for it because she something she does she does it because there's a need uh, even though she needs the money yeah you know, she does mm -hmm. she kind of is a giver is I guess what I'm trying to say but I love Liz Talbot and she uh, is just a unique individual she ends up moving from Greenville South Carolina to Stella Morris in one of the books and um, she inherits her grandmother's beach house. That's and, the first book because her yes. she investigates her grandmother's uh, death. Yes, yes. And uh, I don't know how many people are familiar with Harvey, the movie. Um, that's from way, way back. With the rabbit. With the big... Uh, that's what I thought I was Jimmy reading. Jimmy Stewart but, and it, the rabbit. Yes. It was very interesting and it kind of... Uh, opens up the very first book, Low Country Boy, opens up like that. And so it's really great. Um, and each book is unique. I mean, it is a series, it's a continuation, and you revisit other characters along the way, but it's almost like each book could be a standalone because uh, each situation is very unique and different uh, it, that's occurring in each book. And this one is unique because they have left the island of Stella Morris. They've left that the low country and it's a Christmas getaway. And um, her husband has brought her whole family to St. John Island. And as you read, you fall in love with her mother who is the ultimate matriarch of a Southern family. You know, mm -hmm. everything has to be so-so uh, at every occasion, you know, all of everything like that. And then here her mother gets involved with these two ladies that are trying to track down one of their cheating husbands. <laughs> and uh, she exaggerates the fact that, oh, well, I'm a private eye helper kind of person. <laughs> and and uh, mama doesn't know what she's doing, but <laughs> she gets involved and it just creates a huge problem for the whole family down there. And there's some um, very funny parts because uh, Susan does a great job with throwing humor in there. And, oh, yeah. And then the, the suspense, though, and then trying to find out, you know, well, who is it that, you know, did, I don't want to say what they did, but who did this, you know? And it just, she has a great way of telling a story. She's just a wonderful storyteller. And so I would encourage anyone who is... Uh, interested in a good, fun read. It's an easy read. It's a fun read. But, I mean, it is, all of them are all page turners. And it's just um, one of my favorite, favorite series. I, I enjoyed it uh, when I, you know, when I found it. So, um, I would definitely give, I've given all of them five stars because mm -hmm. they deserved it. And um, I really uh, am enjoying, enjoyed reading. Now, I just have to wait probably another year for her to come out with another one, which is sad, but you know, writers have to write. So we it's have true. something to read, but another five star read from Susan Boyer. So I would encourage you very much to start with Low Country Bowl and end with the Low Country Getaway. You will not regret it. Right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye guys.